When its port opened in 1859, Yokohama was just a fishing village of 100 households. Now, it's an international city that 3.7 million people call home. Yokohama's remarkable development has given the city experience and know-how to share with cities in Africa, which are currently experiencing rapid growth. From Yokohama, the closest city to Africa in Japan, to Africa with all its rich potential. JICA and the city of Yokohama are working together in a variety of undertakings to share with Africa all of the experience, intelligence, and skills that we have fostered over the years. JICA is pleased to have been a consistent partner of Africa's development, covering such fields as infrastructure, agriculture, health, education, and industrial development. In recent years, we are putting a strong emphasis on the promotion of cooperation through the private sector, as well as uh, cooperation through the exchange of human resources, particularly through scholarship programs. We are very determined to work even closely together with the city of Yokohama, the city that has been playing a very significant role in promoting cooperation afro Yippon. In Japan, it's taken for granted that a twist of the faucet will release a stream of water. However, in Malawi, Africa, there are still places where 24-hour water supply is yet to be realized. In Yokohama, revenue is generated from about 92% of the water from purification plants. However, in Malawi, close to 40% of the water from purification plants is wasted due to leakage from water pipes. In order to resolve Malawi's water supply issues, the city of Yokohama dispatched Waterworks Bureau staff to the Blantyre Water Board as JICA volunteers. ね、in addition, JICA and Yokohama invite professionals working in the field of water supply in each African nation to attend training in Yokohama every year. Yokohama was the first city in Japan to develop a modern water supply. Through its operational history of over 130 years, the city has achieved water supply coverage of 100%. Using the technology and operational know-how gained through years of experience, Yokohama is now working toward realization of a 24-7 safe water supply for African households. In Yokohama, Past increases in population led to continued increases in the volume of waste discharged. However, a reduction in waste of approximately 43% was achieved over a decade starting in 2001. The city of Yokohama held 11,000 briefing sessions with citizens in the first two years and continuously worked with citizens and corporations throughout the 10-year period such as holding many children's environmental education programs. As a result, Yokohama could succeed in reducing the number of waste incineration plants in operation from seven to four. On the other hand, looking to Africa, cities in many nations are experiencing a rapid population influx that in turn leads to rapid increases in waste, 
with final landfill sites overflowing with garbage and illegal dumping worsening the hygiene environment in the cities, creating a situation that threatens the health of all of their citizens. JICA and the city of Yokohama are using Yokohama's experience to help improve the waste management situation present in cities in Africa. During TCAD 6 in Nairobi, Kenya, JICA ran a waste management seminar as a side event. Mayor Fumiko Hayashi of Yokohama gave a speech, and as a result of this event, the Japanese government, JICA, United Nations agencies, and the city of Yokohama established an initiative called the African Clean Cities Platform. We are promoting collaboration to enable African people to independently conduct waste management going forward. Training participants from Africa actually see for themselves the flow of waste management, from the initial separation of waste, its collection, transport, intermediate treatment, to final disposal, as well as visit sites of promoting citizen awareness. These experiences deepen their understanding of these processes and allow us to show them a complete picture of Yokohama's waste management knowledge. In order to realize clean African cities in which the people can live healthy lives, we will continue to share Japanese technology and experience in the future. We have a lot of um, open dumping everywhere and also this is another big problem. In Yokohama, I am very impressed in the way they are managing the West, solid West. First, there are a lot of laws, laws on salubrity, laws on waste management, laws on uh, recycling. But in my country, we didn't have these laws. Yokohama was a quick and high population growth. We experienced it. We developed a population growth and increased population. And now, from this experience, we learned the skills. ノウハウを生かし、ジャイカとの協力のもと、アフリカへの技術協力に積極的に取り組んでいます。アフリカと横浜、あふれる力で共に未来へ、互いの持続的な発展に向けて、これからも都市だからこそできる連携を進めてまいります。Taking on board the declaration made at TCAD 5 and started by a proposal from Mayor Hayashi, another undertaking between JICA and the city of Yokohama is the Africa-Japan Business Women Exchange Seminar. This seminar introduces initiatives by the Japanese government and the city of Yokohama, which support local female entrepreneurs, to visiting counterparts from Africa and their supporting administrative officials. It also advances the creation of a network with Japanese businesswomen to nurture leaders among female entrepreneurs in each African nation. Other undertakings between JICA and the city of Yokohama include business capacity development through JICA scholarship programs at local universities, the promotion of internships at local corporations, providing support to local businesses involved with Africa, and sharing know-how in improving port logistics efficiency and wildlife conservation. Through these various projects, JICA and the City of Yokohama have realized a wide range of partnerships and collaboration with Africa. JICA, leading the world with trust. Yokohama, the closest city to Africa in Japan. Sharing experience, information, and technology that we have developed over the years combined with our desire to achieve a sustainable city. We will continue to strengthen our partnerships and collaboration with Africa for the future. <laughs>